What's up, YouTube? This is the Wisco Boater Channel. My name is Chad. Welcome back to another episode of some uh, maintenance items on Thirsty Whale of the uh, off season 2022 2023. Uh, something that has always bothered me since I bought this boat is this railing here is really, really loose. So I'm going to tackle this project today to get this thing tightened down. So I think that I'm going to have to start up here. We'll take the uh, switch off of the uh, uh, we'll switch cover off and then take the junction box out. Uh, that should give me enough room to get up inside there with a wrench to tighten up those two screws, if they're screws, or if nuts and bolts, figure out what they actually are. But uh, yeah, it just, <laughs> it's really loose and has always felt really chintzy to me. Um, this is the one piece of this railing that I'm keeping since the countertop is uh is now gone and going to be replaced with a new one so the i think uh well there's still this railing in the bathrooms and the heads but uh, as far as in the salon i do want to keep this it goes nicely with the steps and everything else but uh i do like this little vintage piece of railing here so see if we can get this thing tightened up side here see if I can see the, uh, can't quite barely see it here we go okay so there are uh, nuts and lock washers on the back side of these that's the outside one and you can see there is part of my problem so that needs to be tightened all the way back down uh, to get the uh, the top part of the railing secured again. Obviously won't be able to film this part, but get a wrench in there and we'll get this one tightened back up. Here's what we're dealing with here. So up inside there, using the mirror, you can see the, you got one of these bolts that goes through and then and runs into a um, another board or another strip of wood that's uh, probably used to keep this cabinet uh, secured. So I basically have tightened this down as far as I can go the bolt's starting to move to the side. I could probably go a little bit farther, but um, it actually is pretty, pretty sturdy now. So I think I'm probably gonna stop here and then uh, go uh, work on the bottom part. But that's the access. If you're looking to tighten up your railing through, uh, take the junction box out. And yes, this circuit is shut off. Um, and then uh, access to the nuts that are on the bolts on the back side. Okay, I may have gotten lucky on this one because these um, I just tried to uh, just tighten up with a screwdriver and, and they actually seem to be getting tighter. So I think the lock washer on the back side is tight enough that it's allowing to uh, cinch this up. So I'm going to set this as high as it goes. Yep, got a lock. tighter by hand. That seems pretty good. Okay. Now, our railing is nice and sturdy. Look at that. I can actually pull on it to get myself up off the floor. So, that is awesome. 
So just got to put the uh, junction box and switch back together and call this the job done. Okay, here's our railing back in place. I'm filming this on, on my older phone because uh, I'm using my phone to play music when I'm not recording. So, can't zoom out, but uh, there's the railing back in place. Nice and sturdy now. And I got the light, cir uh, light circuit turned back on. Make sure that still works. There we go. Perfect. So, thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Motor Channel. A little bit of uh, light. Uh, DIY maintenance uh, I'm working on today. So good to get some little projects done. We'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater Channel. Happy boating, everybody.